All right, today we have a water bottle workout for you guys. So no gym, no problem, because we can use things at home like water bottles, or you can use cans of soup, whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the movements and then we'll do them together. You'll bring your feet a little wider than your hips. Toes are facing forward. So you want all toes to the front. You're gonna squat with your water bottles low. So squat back and lift. We're gonna do 10 of these and make sure you're sitting back. You want your knees right over your toes. So I'll do one to the side, holding your water bottles low. And then you will do overhead presses. So take your water bottles. You're gonna make an oval shape. You can bring your feet in a little closer for this one. Like you're tracing an oval, press your water bottles overhead. So I'll turn to the side because the elbows are staying back and press your hands overhead like you're tracing that nice big oval and pull down with your resistance. Then from there, we're gonna do bench presses. So this one, you could be lying on a bench. That's how people do it in the gym. But for this, we're gonna bench press forward. So take your water bottles, just as if you're holding dumbbells and press them forward. Think peeling your, pulling your shoulder blades together on the way back and a slow push forward. So 10 of those, 10, 10, 10 so far. And then finally those curls, but your elbows are floating away from your rib cage. You want them away from your body, but you're gonna do bicep curls here. So think tightest squeezes for your biceps and curling those water bottles in towards your chest. So 10 of those two, those are the movements. So let's do it all out with our water bottles. All right. You don't have a gym, you don't have dumbbells, that's not a problem because we have water bottles here. Again, if you've got soup cans, if you've got Gatorade bottles, I don't care what it is, we're gonna get started on this workout. So bring your feet a little wider than your hips, your toes are facing to the front, and 10 squats here. So sitting back like you're sitting in a chair, bend your knees as you drop your seat nice and low. So think knees right over your toes and weight in your heels. So holding onto your water bottles right at the bottom, keeping the grip on them. Two and one, then shake it out. We've got those 10 overhead presses. So you can bring your feet a little closer for this one. Elbows by your sides. You've got those water bottles in front, but the elbows stay back. So press and pull down. So think press up with the shoulders and then pull down with the shoulder blades. So press up, pull down with the back. So try to keep those elbows back. You got three more. We'll turn back to the front. Three, two, soft bend in your knees. One, pull down, shake it out if you need. We're gonna get right into those bench presses. So feet back to hip width apart. Bring those water bottles forward, your weights here and press forward and then pull your shoulder blades together. So think straight arms right out in front of you and then pull the shoulder blades together as you're pulling the water bottles back. So you're doing 10 of these total. You got four, three, two, keep breathing, one. You can shake it out if you need, if you need to give those arms a break. And the last one here, we are going to do some bicep curls. So bring those feet back to their hip width position, bring those weights in front and elbows stay away from your rib cage, bicep curls here. You've got 10 and you are done. So keep the elbows away, keep that heavy tailbone, even as you're st standing, you always wanna protect your lower back. So here's three, two, and one that is all for round one but let's do it again for round number two so bring your feet a little wider than your hips your toes are facing to the front and 10 squats here so sitting back like you're sitting in a chair bend your knees as you drop your seat nice and low so think knees right over your toes and weight in your heels so holding onto your water bottles right at the bottom, keeping the grip on them. 
two, and one. Then shake it out. We've got those 10 overhead presses. So you can bring your feet a little closer for this one. Elbows by your sides. You've got those water bottles in front, but the elbows stay back. So press and pull down. So think press up with the shoulders and then pull down with the shoulder blades. So press up, pull down with the back. So try to keep those elbows back. You got three more. We'll turn back to the front. Three, two, soft bend in your knees. One, pull down, shake it out if you need. We're gonna get right into those bench presses. So feet back to hip width apart. Bring those water bottles forward, your weights here, and press forward and then pull your shoulder blades together. So think straight arms right out in front of you and then pull the shoulder blades together as you're pulling the water bottles back. So you're doing 10 of these total. You got four, three, two, keep breathing, one. You can shake it out if you need, if you need to give those arms a break. And the last one here, we are going to do some bicep curls. So bring those feet back to their hip width position. Bring those weights in front and elbows stay away from your rib cage. Bicep curls here. You've got 10 and you are done. So keep the elbows away. Keep that heavy tailbone, even as you're st standing, you always wanna protect your lower back. So here's three, two, and one. All right, that was your no gym water bottle workout. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you check out all the other workouts we have. Meredith just did an awesome dumbbell workout. So if you have real dumbbells, check that one out too. And of course, subscribe to our channel.